Hey everybody, how's it going? Women Carrying Knives here. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Hogue Sig Sauer K Sig Sauer Sauer K320. Um, this is actually, uh, my husband actually got this from somebody and I can't quite remember who, so I can't give you a shout out on that, but, um, this is a really interesting knife. It is a beefy, uh, well, we'll call it large. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call this large. It's just a chunk of a little knife. See, I said little again, but it's just a chunk of a knife. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm so far, I'm really enjoying it. Now, this knife comes with an S30 feed, S30B drop point blade. This thing is so bleep and sharp. Holy cow. It is just phenomenal. It's got such a great, great edge on it. And uh, I almost chopped my finger off with it the other day, but that's okay. Uh, good thing we have fingernails. You have a black Cerakote finish on this. Um, as you can see here, you have the Able Lock, which is nice because you can flick it out with the Able Lock. And you can't really flick this one. Oh, uh, never mind. I take that back. I was actually having a hard time on this one because it was kind of stiff. So, you know, again, it is new. And a lot of times when they're newer or even sometimes larger, I do have a hard time with it because my hands are not that big. Um, the handle is what they call a black polyamide uh, nylon, or for those of you, it's a glass fiber reinforced polymer. Um, basically, it's the same handle that they use, that Hogue uses on their guns. So that kind of gives you an idea of what that's like. You have this grip pattern here, so it's texture definitely gives you a little bit of extra grip on there, which is always nice to have that. Um, you have a, and I'm not sure why, but they, they put louvers on their little pocket clip there. There you go. You can see that. And, you know, maybe it's just for look, aesthetics, whatever it is. You got a little USA flag on there. This is definitely a deep carry clip. You can see that. We're going all the way to the end of the bit, uh, end of the handle. It's a pretty sturdy uh, clip too. It's really, you know, I enjoy it. I like the fact that this is ambidextrous for my righties and lefties out there. Ambidextrous, you can flip it. So, you know, there's not a whole lot of specifically just left-handed blades. They're mostly right-handed. So the ambidextrous is really nice. I love to be able to, you know, Tell my tell my lefty friends out there that they do have them. You have some great jimping on the back here, which lets you choke up. Um, you kind of have a finger toil area here, which is nice. Now, this is a large knife. You can see, you know, even if I have four fingers on here, this is going to be a large-handed knife. Absolutely. But to be able to even choke up on it, having that jimping on there makes a huge difference. And I love, I mean, this is just a... I don't even, a fat belly on this drop point blade is swollen extra wide. I mean, it is just, this thing is awesome. Now, tough wise, um, again, I don't hard use my knife, so I couldn't tell you how tough it's going to be, but I would imagine being that it is, you know, more like a firearm material that it's going to stand up to it. Now, the black coating, I believe, um, I don't know if I said that or not, but it's Cerakoted. So... Cerakoting holds up really well, but there is a chance that you are going to scratch it. Um, that's okay too. If you're going to use your knife, scratch it. Let it, you know, let the use be seen on your blade. Um, like I said, the able lock. I do love the able lock, and I do love the fact that you can flip it out. And I'm resting my arms on the table, so I shouldn't be doing that. But you are able to flip it out. It's a very large knife, so it is a little bit harder for me. But um, it's really comfortable in hand. I really thought that the pocket clip was going to kind of be a hot point for me. But I think because it sits so much further out in my hand that it's really not. It feels really, really good. And even if I choke up on it, um, I think because the pocket clip sits, you know, it looks high. But it, it feels like it sits very low, which is really, really nice. Now, this thing... I have used it on, you know, like my usual uses. I um, use it on cardboard, use it to cut 
I don't know, whatever I'm cutting, packages, paper, tape. Um, I was actually making some holiday decorations and I used it on some uh, burlap twine, but it just cuts right through it. It's like butter. It cuts through it so easily and just, I mean, it's just wonderful. And like I said, you know, if you have a larger hand, I think this is going to be a really good knife. Now, I do know that my husband had an issue when he got his original one. Um, I do believe he had an issue. Well, I don't quite remember what it was, but he did reach out to Hogue and they sent him another one. So they took care of the problem and sent him one that was just, it was perfect. The centering was great. Um, there was no problem with it. The able, like, you can see that right there. You probably can't because it's all black. Darn it. There you go. So the centering, I mean, it is just dead center. It is so smooth. The handle is good. You have no edges here that are sharp. It's not off. I mean, it's just, you know, I, I'm actually pretty happy with this knife. And being a larger knife, you know, that's nice too. I also love the fact, like I said, that it has the deep carry clip. Um, I don't always, on the larger knives, I don't always flick them. This one's a bit harder because it is newer. But it is smooth. It is really, really smooth. You know, I think this is definitely one to look at. Now, I didn't get the price on this, and I don't have anything in front of me to where I can look it up. But um, I would say this is a good one to go ahead and, and give a try to. Um, I wasn't really familiar with this one, so I'm kind of glad that we were able to get our hands on it and check it out. Uh, like I said, I... I the things that I love the most about this is I love the texturing on the handle because I love that it doesn't feel like it's going to roll out of your hand, slide out of your hand when you're using it. Um, I do like the fact that they did the Cerakoting because, again, like I said, Cerakoting is pretty tough, so it's nice. But eventually you are going to see scratches in it, and that's okay. You know, use your knives. Show it. That's great. Pocket clip, n not really sure what the louvers are for, but, you know, hey, it looks pretty. That's what counts, right? All right, you guys, that's just been a quick review of the Sig Sauer um, Hogue Knife, the K320. If you guys have any questions. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is not only ambidextrous, but you can also change it to be tip up or tip down. Now, I prefer mine tip up, but should you carry it the other way, you can absolutely change it. So you do have four positions on that. And that's really cool. I actually think that some knife makers should make more knives like that because not everybody wants to carry it the same way. All right, you guys, again, Sig Sauer K320. I'm really liking this knife. I think that it was a uh, good design. I love how it feels in hand. I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. If you do, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here all the time. Don't forget to ring that bell. It'll let you know whenever I post a new video. Um, on your way out, if you could hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. It does help the channel. And as always, feel free to leave any comments. I love talking to you guys, and I try to answer each and every one personally. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.